All right, today on Boys Customs, we're gonna fix the brakes on my 1980 Chevrolet C10 Bonanza. Time to do the bearings and the brakes on it. Um, jacked it up a little bit already, loosened off the lugs already, um, but I think, I mean I have to pack the bearings, but at first I'd like to just kind of take it all apart. Um, I do have to get some jack stands under here first, or really quick, uh, after I take the wheels off. But, uh, once we do the brakes, this should make it a, a pretty good driver. All right, so I guess what I'm going to go through here is just you're being repeated on the other side. You guys probably won't see the other side, but it's exactly the same as this. So, like I said, I've already loosened these. It's up. It's on jack stands. Okay. Ooh, yummy. Yay. <laughs> Lots of, uh, got a couple of cracks on it. Uh, nothing horrible, but you can actually feel it loosen up and then tighten up. So you can tell it's probably this one that's warped see tight right there so when you're stepping on that it's making a pretty good shake it kind of gets a little dangerous anyway we'll pull the brakes off we'll pull this hub assembly off we'll pull this cover dust cover off We'll uh, grease the bearings. Um, we'll put it all back together. We'll put the brakes back on it. Sometimes I wish I had a lift. I was thinking I'd be able to work on it like this. Maybe not. Ooh, it's a little bigger than this 5 sixteenths. Uh, you need an Allen key to take those off. It's been a little while since I've done it. Um, Five sixteenths is too small, so find something bigger, I guess. So it's a three eighths, just FYI. I don't have a socket this size. Uh, so this is what I've got, and then I'm just gonna put an extension on it if I need it. WD. Little WD go a long way, I guess, here. I mean, you don't want WD-40 on your brakes when you're going, but this is getting replaced, the pads are getting replaced, everything's getting replaced except for the uh, calipers, so we should be fine. You know what you actually can do with these, um, if you have the space back there, uh, you can get the right size ratcheting wrench and stick it over it and then crank on it, which I think I'm gonna do right now. So, 3 8 inch wrench. This might be a little long for it, but Thank you. 
essentially you get the idea. Especially if it's a little tight. Down here it's going to work a lot better. Or imagine if you actually turn the wheel. Might not be a bad idea in our situation. Uh, looks like it still might not even work that well. Probably gonna have to pry that out. pads aren't actually that bad, but I've got new ones. Pop this cap off. Pull the cotter pin out. I get a socket for that, huh? All right, there's basically all I'm keeping, along with the castle nut, along with the cotter pin. You know, you'd think I'd have a bunch of cotter pins kicking around, but I don't. can see marks on here. It looks like it was hot. Maybe a little ridge down there. I don't know though. I imagine that these are fairly new. There's not a lot of grease in them though. You know what I didn't realize is that I don't have any seals on the back of mine right here. At least I don't think I do. And I probably need that. Might have to run to the parts store. So I've already packed the bearings and then uh, I went to the parts store and I got so I got the back bearing in. This needs to be clean still um, with brake clean. But uh, got this back seal. Basically had to run and get that. Well, maybe that ain't working. Maybe I'll have to just tidy. Good, all good things. Just had to give it a little bit more, whatever it needed. Kind of go a little bit, I don't know. I like to make sure that it's got plenty of grease in there.
So um, we got all this together. It does seem a little tight. I did it the same as I did the other side. Um, the inside is just a little bit looser, but uh, we'll give it a little bit of time see if it breaks in. Um, got new brake pads for it. Oh, wait. I gotta clean this. This one seems a little rougher than the other side. Seems like the other side had, maybe this one's got a little bit of surface rust starting from sitting. Okay, so on the brakes themselves, um, usually they won't, they won't fit back on here until you give them a little squeeze. And so I kind of like to put the, the first brake pad in the inside one and then kind of shove it in there it's just got that little clip on it and then I like to take um, just a pair just a c-clamp and then you just kind of give it a little squeeze It'll push that piston back just enough so you can get it on. Now, if your brakes are worn quite a bit, it might be hanging out there quite a ways. So you have to push it in there. Make sure you don't uh, overflow your master cylinder because if you got a lot of fluid in the lines and you squeeze it up in there, it'll fill up your master cylinder and squirt over the top. That's it, right there. Throw the second set on. Guess we gotta get this out of the way. Shake that. back in. What well, I was smart when I went to the parts store I picked up a 3 8 inch Allen socket for this. Of course it is a little long but it does the job. As they say in the industry a couple of oogadoogas I guess. I'm sure there's a, a torque number for it. I've never known it. Okay, that should about do it for that. Wow. That was kind of a long, tedious project, eh? So, in the end, do the brakes work, you're asking? Uh, yeah, they work great. I've been driving around with them for a little while and uh, they're smooth. Um, in fact, this truck rides unbelievably. Um, so, especially for a 42 year old truck. But, uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe so that you know I'll, I'll be more inspired to bring you guys more content like this and I'll be able to do a little bit more and a little bit crazier stuff uh, right now I'm limited by budget but uh, you know let me know what you think unless you're gonna be a jerk about it um, anyway thanks for watching appreciate it boys customs have a good one eh?